Hey guys, Marble Tyler here, and today's video is a little bit more of an opinion piece. As the title says, I believe that ODST has the best firefight. And I'm going to explain why. Now, one of the first things I want to say is, in ODST, you're not a Spartan 2, you're not a Spartan 3, you're not this genetically hybrid super soldier that's, you know, built to be a killing machine, that has uh, awesome pseudo armor, that has healing and shields and a health system. And obviously, as an ODST, you had a health system too. Um, but generally, the the super soldiers being you know who you played as in Reach, and as in Five, you know because those are the only games with the firefight. Those those characters, you know, have shields and they're built to be killing machines. The enemies aren't as deadly to them. And then in Halo Five, you're also like flying around all crazy and everything else. So. You know, that in itself is clearly like, hey, super soldier. But, let's start with the maps. First of all, when ODST had Firefight, it was concise. You know, it, it played more like a survival mode. Because ODST was Halo's response to things like Gears of War and their survival mode. Or Call of Duty Zombies. Or uh, Left 4 Dead was implementing a survival mode. I mean, this is around the time that we started seeing... You know, survival modes, and I want to say ODST was like the last one, or I don't remember where in the timeline it came out. But essentially, this is the time when survival horde modes were becoming popular. And ODST was Halo's response. And this is when ODST was in its prime, and this is when Firefight, in my opinion, was in its prime. So like I said, the maps, they're small to medium sized, they're not large, they're not war zone sized. You know, and on top of that, in Reach... They're not just built to be massive so that you can sprint everywhere because that's what you didn't reach. You sprinted and you didn't have to, you know, walk around the map and everything else. And then on top of that, you didn't have unlimited ammo. In Reach and in, you know, Warzone, you have these little stations that just dispense ammo. So, you know, if you don't have a power weapon, you're getting unlimited ammo. You know, just nonstop, you know, oh, I'm out of DMR shots, I'm out of battle rifle shots, I'm out of my pistol or whatever, you know, I gotta stop picking off enemies, go back to base, refill ammo, come back out, good to go. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of cheating to me, you know, the fact that you have unlimited resources to work with. And I know for power weapons, it's not exactly the case, but in terms of, like, Warzone and Firefight Warzone, you know, you, you could spawn in any power weapon that you need. On top of that, they're, like, super weapons, and they're super vehicles, and Really, I'm going to try to real, rule out uh, Halo 5's Firefight as much as possible. Because it was kind of built to promote rec packs for the most part. So, take that as it is. Um, but also in ODST maps, like I said, we had finite ammo. You had weapon placement that was, you know, that was always set. You know, but there was always a limited amount of everything. You know, there's... In one of the first maps, I don't remember the name. There's a sniper on the other side, and there's a rocket launcher on the other side on the underneath part. Then there's ammo hiding behind you. There's a really loud car driving by. I don't know if you guys heard that. But anyways, it's a finite amount of resources with weapon placement or vehicle placement that's, again, finite. Same thing with health packs. You know, you can't constantly regenerate. You have four. And uh, lives and everything, is, it's all really limited. And I thought it was great. You know, it's an actual test of like, hey, don't waste this. If you do waste this, how are you going to adapt? How are you going to survive? And on top of that... Increased difficulty with the skulls. Reach did the same thing, but I believe that ODST did it better because ODST, you get this feeling that, you know, if you die, you have this feeling that you could have done something better. You know, oh, if I hadn't actually run down there and maybe I was just patient and I waited to shoot the person, then I wouldn't have gotten stuck by that grenade. You know, A, if I was paying attention and I didn't hop on the turret, I wouldn't have gotten stuck by that grenade. Or I wouldn't have, uh, if I would have sidestepped a little bit sooner and not messed up fighting the chieftain and meleeing him in the back, then I would have I would have been fine. I wouldn't have lost that extra life that ended the round kind of thing. You know, you're always left with this feeling of I can get better. You know, I can I can do more. It was my fault, it was my mistake, and I can correct that next time and do better and better and better. On top of that, the setting, you know, in terms of the, the game and the general atmosphere in ODST, it's a little bit different um, in terms of Reach, but they're both like very sad settings. But in terms of campaign and uh, the general atmosphere of the entire game, ODST is just this very dark, dreary. You're a couple soldiers left in this, you know, abandoned city, in this overrun city. 
you know, when you're just trying to survive, you're just trying to connect with people, and the, the firefight mode fit that perfectly, you know, it's, hey, you're pinned down, there's enemies coming endlessly, and you're just fighting until you can no longer fight, until you're actually dead, and it, it was just a fantastic setting. Now, Reach was also a very sad setting, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to knock it, because, you know, it was, it was a very down, like, hey, we're losing this fight, but the firefight felt more arcadey. It didn't really carry that same feeling. You know, the whole idea of, like, you had, first of all, you had loadouts. You had different things you could spawn with. Um, it seemed a little more bright and goofy at, at all these times. The customization was great. I think customization is fantastic for the game. But the way they went about it felt a little bit like this is a fun arcade mode than it is, you know, a survival horde mode. And I don't think that did it justice. Um... I just don't think it was fair. And then for Halo 5, obviously, it's just an attack down mode that came later in the lifespan of the game. And it, it's kind of there to promote rec packs. I mean, like I said, we've gone over this. It's it's not really here for, you know, ODST fans or Survival Horde mode fans. But overall, I, I, I think Reach is just a, you know, power fantasy for super soldiers, Spartans, these ultimate military heroes with unlimited ammo and classes. And it's it's just kind of an arcade, like... Just wipe out all the enemies till they're all dead, and then we'll bring some more, you know, in a different variety for you to kill. Meanwhile, in, in Halo 5, as I said, it, it's a rec pack promotion. The enemies are just tanks that absorb, you know, shot after shot after shot until they finally die. And even when you're using, like, super tanks and super wasps and super vehicles and all this other crazy stuff, you know, it's like, yeah, you're, you're not getting anywhere. Um, and then in ODST, I think it was the perfect survival mode. You're not, you know, you're not fighting super soldiers, or fighting as super soldiers, you know, you're not fighting characters that just don't ever die, it's, no, you, you made the mistake, that's what killed you, it's a survival horde mode that was in its prime, and fantastic, and it did super well, and honestly, I would love to see the return of classic firefight. Now, I know I ignored the other firefight, which is Halo Wars 2, but because that's a different genre altogether, I didn't figure, I figured it wasn't worth mentioning. But what do you guys think? What was the what was the best ODST in your guys' eyes? Um, like I said, you know my opinion. You know I love ODST, and you know I think that one was the best. But let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, go ahead, like button, subscribe. You can join in and talk about it on Discord. We'll also be a part of Game Night, so I need to record footage. Other than that, guys, I hope to see you guys in the game.